Hey there everyone, I hope you're rocking today. Geographic information systems is a booming industry right now. It's applicable in many different fields including marketing, surveying, urban planning, environmental protection, agriculture, disaster mitigation, geology, geoscience, and of course geophysics. In this video, I'm going to talk about the pluses and the minuses I see in GIS as a career. Before I get going, if you have any questions or concerns or anything you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, a professional geoscientist. Three years ago, I couldn't have told you what geographic information systems even meant. Today, I have a career which incorporates my deep understanding of geophysics with my training in GIS. It's challenging, I have a lot of responsibility, and I really enjoy what I'm doing. In this video, I'm going to talk about some positives and some negatives that I see about a career in geographic information systems. Let's get rocking. The first good thing about a career in GIS is that it is applicable in many fields. If the career can integrate geospatial data, imagery, location information, or some innovative uh, mix therein, you've got a great GIS career. A major fruitful thing to do is to take all your knowledge in the GIS world, as, uh, assuming you're a GIS person, and applying that into some other field that maybe not necessarily has GIS applied to it yet. What this means is that if you're creative, the career paths are enormous. However, this leads into the first problem with the career in GIS. GIS is not a profession. There's no governing body to dictate uh, skills level. If you're even partly keen, you can learn most of it off of YouTube. You know, at worst, a GIS person is a software jockey, someone who just knows how to press the right buttons at the right time to do the right thing without actually knowing anything really about what they're doing. You can look at it as a good thing that anybody can learn it, but it's also a bad thing because anybody can learn it. I would say it's similar to say someone like myself who knows Adobe products inside and out, but I've got no formal training. Obviously there's gonna be professional level GIS people and there's entry level GIS people and there's you know ones that can, I'm not saying this in a bad sense, hack their way through it. There's a big difference between competent people and software jockeys, but ultimately, GIS is not a profession. However, GIS is a great tool that works with many other tools. For instance, programming. Back in my previous work experience, I did a lot of programming and I brought that knowledge into my GIS career, where I'm able to build applications for in-house work and put them online as well. There's also a major artistic aspect of a GIS career. And I love art, so I'm able to mold my artistic senses into my, my career daily. It's also a great research tool. Again, as I said before, it's something where if you can think your way around it, you can incorporate geospatial data into something new or even into some uh, research that you're already doing. In fact, if you're a PhD or a master's student in some scientific field, I would say, you know, give uh, GIS a shot. It may in enhance some of your research. Overall, for me, it's actually enhanced my creativity in my career. And that creativity has been actually a plus, but that also brings me to the next problem. A GIS career, depending on your expectations, can be a pretty low paying job. I started my training in GIS to get out of oil. That's because oil was in the and I needed something else. Now I knew GIS was gonna be useful for something I was gonna do in the future, but I wasn't quite sure what it was. And then I looked at the salaries for GIS people, strictly GIS people, and I was a bit shocked. The low end of a GIS career seemed to be about minimum wage. But again, this pertains to the fact that GIS isn't a profession and almost anybody can be a software jockey pressing buttons. So if you think you're gonna be doing GIS as a career in GIS, it's probably best if you think of more of as a 
add on to whatever career that you're thinking about doing. This way you can enhance your career and probably make a lot more money. Finally, I'm gonna talk about the fact that I'm really not talking about a career in GIS, I'm talking about incorporating GIS into your career. For me, this has worked out. For other people, I could see it not working out. But one thing I can say for sure is that I've been having loads of fun incorporating GIS into what I do every single day. From the programming, from the artistic map making, from the designing of the data structures, deploying information online. GIS as an added part of your career is great fun. And those are my thoughts on geographic information systems as a career. It can be applied to many different industries, does require a bit of creativity to maximize your potential, and it can be great fun. GIS is working out for me, and it can quite possibly work out for you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.